What's up guys? I'm back today with a vlog. Haven't done vlogs for quite some time. Today I'm going door knocking. Uh, door knocking to give out these flyers on Lentor Modern. This is my team behind me. So we are at um, somewhere near Amokyo. Okay, so we are going to hit three blocks. So the objective for us is to give out at least 50 flyers to interested parties. So we've been doing this on, on many, many, many days and hopefully we can get, we can give out 500, 1000 and yeah, do many deals for Lentor Modern. Alright, let's go! Let's do it! So I usually start from the top floor down. This is a very nice HDB block. She got the views, man. Superb views. You know, as door knocking agents, we always see things like, um, please, uh, hi, we're not selling our heart, please. Please do not approach. No flyers, no property agents. First house, no response. Quite scary the things we see, but yeah, it's not going to deter me. So four levels, four houses on each block. So none of them actually open the doors here. Let's carry on, head on down. Okay, I'm at the first door that the door is open. Hey, hi, sorry. Just want to check whether you have heard of uh, Lentor Modern before. Sorry? Oh, you are tenant. I see. Okay, no problem. Can I just leave one flyer here? Yeah, you can just leave that. Thank you very much because most of the doors are closed. Okay, thank you. just leave one flyer here in case you might be interested. Let me know. Thank you. Right, level 33 is my lucky number. Level 33 managed to give out two flyers here. Two flyers. At this rate, I think I will be able to give out 50 by the bottom of this block. Let's hit to level 32 now. Wow. Hey, hello. It's your papa, mama. Hi, sir. Have you heard of Lentor Modern before? Oh, no, sorry. Here to share with you. Uh, no, okay, have you heard of Amo Residence? Yeah. yeah. Recently just sold my 8%. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay, no, no worries. I just passed you this flyer. You just take a look. Okay. If interested, my contact QR code, everything is there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Wow, level 32. I gave out four flyers. Looks like I'm doing quite well so far. Every single house one, every single house one, every single house one. New strategy in the past when I don't know, um, I think I, I try and spend too much time at one home to try and talk to them, understand them. I think it's a good strategy. It builds long term contacts. In fact, um, some of the contacts that I, that I had when I door knocked about 5 to 6 years ago, they are still in touch with me today. But this time, I want to try a different strategy. We are really going for the numbers game. Uh, so, these flyers, so I really hope to give out all of them. So far, I think given out about almost 10. Let's keep going. Taking a breather here at I think level 30. It's quite funny, you know, how um, salespeople, people like me, insurance agents or whoever, they are doing door knocking. The, if, if let's say you see someone coming out of the lift, Immediately they will say, oh no, 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 go away, go away, sorry, not interested. I guess that, that's how it is, huh? and uh, I don't blame anyone. It's how we can be seen as quite irritating, but really, just here, just want to let anyone who's watching this know that I'm not doing much, I'm just sharing this information. I go in literally less than two to three minutes. It will take much of, my, much of your time, unless you want to find out more, then I'll stay and chat. Let's carry on to the next floor. Ooh, my mask. Just thinking to myself, um, has there ever been times where you said you were too quick to say no to an offer before you rejected, before you regretted it soon after? Like, like there are times when a, a telemarketer would call me, they would in fact tell me the offer very quickly up front. I would say no, 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 oh, I'm free now, good night, bye bye, boom. And then I literally <laughs> realized that, hey, actually that might be an offer that I'm interested in. You know, as today I'm door knocking, so much different from when I when I did it a number of years back now. I think I'm so much more respectful. Um, for example, the doors that you saw earlier, the pasted signs that says, oh, please don't knock, we're not interested in sell. I literally don't knock. I don't even put my flyers there because I think they might not be so keen. Um, at the same time, I used to knock 
knock on the doors of the doors that were closed as well. But again, today I'm not doing that. I think the objective today is very clear. Uh, I want to get 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 word of this project out to the residents here. If they are interested and it helps them, great. Uh, they can get in touch with me. If they're not interested, I really don't want to disturb them too much. Yep. So I'm at level twenty three. Quite slow. In fact, uh, I plan to do this for two hours. I'm about one and a half hours, close to one and a half hours in and um, I've only covered about 12 stories. I think I gotta try and pick up pace. Seriously, why I don't throw flyers when you see homes like that? But what's the point of throwing just for the sake of throwing? It creates so much mess, bad for the environment. Quite interesting, just bump into a fellow property agent from Propnex. He was in the unit that I was door knocking and then I, I think he was doing a rental based on what I overheard. Hey, sorry. Ah, uh, me, 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 me. Okay, okay. All the best, guys. Bye-bye. Very, very fun. And, and you know what? I, I realized something. It's often the adults. Of, of course, it's the adults. Because we are the, the adults are the ones that we usually talk to. They're the ones who say no quickly. But in fact, the kids, the young children, I think since becoming a dad, I also love to, to interact with the kids. So in fact, of all these flaws, uh, I interact with the kids more. There, there was one that stood out so far. There were two little daughters. That was so so cute and so adorable. Hello. <laughs> Hi sir. Sorry, just wondering whether you have heard about Len Lento Modern before. <laughs> Pass ke your papa. <laughs> Thank you. If you happen to be interested, let me know. Thanks. Have a good evening. There's also one very very foolproof way to stop people from knocking on your doors or giving flyers. It's better than any of the stickers. Check this out. My 9pm alarm is ringing, it's the cut off time 10 to 15 flyers left? Right Done at level 17 I think I completed half Right, time to head down Regather the team Okay, back <laughs> Back for a quick debrief How's it guys? Okay Amazing and should gain some confidence Finish all? Uh, one more One more? Yeah you finish all? Like, Shit, I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I still got oh, 10 plus. Lot, right? <laughs> I still got 10 plus. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's day two. I've refilled my flyers back to 50 pieces again. This time I want to catch uh, dinner a bit earlier at Food Park. Yeah, somewhere nearby. I don't want to eat Mac late night like yesterday anymore. <laughs> quite unhealthy and uh, it's because I skipped dinner, it was too rushed yesterday but today I'll eat first so I'll kick off the door knocking for tonight with a full stomach. Yum yum! Okay, finally we are on our way to the uh, HDB block for our door knocking. I have here with me uh, Lim Seng Wee, a seasoned property real estate investor, recently turned an agent about a year ago. Uh, it's actually his first time coming to join us for door knocking today. So I'm just a bit curious to hear his thoughts. Uh, Seng Wee, why what makes you want to finally try door knocking after one year? Well, I think it's probably the best time to step up of my comfort zone. I am somebody who believes in always to seek discomfort. That's my personal motto. So I have gotten into various kind of uh, roles. And uh, recently, just about a year plus ago, I'm in this real estate line. Yeah, so Jim gave me a push today to join him in some door knocking. Yeah, so sometimes uh, in this real estate line, we really need to push each other. Otherwise, it's so easy being self-employed, so easy to just laze around at home. And before you know it, a day will pass, a week will pass, a month will pass, and we haven't done anything at all. You know, it's the motivation to get going, to get out there, to do the work that 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 is really crucial to succeed in this line. Yeah, Singwi, so what, what do you think are, uh, are some of the challenges agents face when they go door knocking? Well, um, I haven't done any, so I guess would be rejection and then uh, meeting some not as friendly people. Yeah, so I think that that is probably one of the, one of the uh, rejection and the, the reason why people are afraid to go and door knock. Yeah. 
that's that's very true. Um, as my experience yesterday has shown, like from from what I what what you have seen in the earlier part of the video, you really get a lot of rejections even before you go in at the entrance of the door. You are already rejected from a sign from a note that the owner pasted on his door. It's really not easy door knocking, but today we are ready and we will persevere and uh, hit our goals. Singmi, um, what what do you intend to check with the owners today? Any of um, your personal goals or probably just on the on, on the uh, context of sharing. Um, uh, my intention is to just bring awareness of this new project that I'm doing, Lantor Modern, and also to see if they have any other property needs that I could provide them as a professional in this field. Yep, yep. Singwi is uh, very experienced, so he's been investing in property for a long time. Next time, uh, I hope to invite him to do another sharing and, a, and, a, and another uh, talk, talking style episode. Maybe we can talk about schools, which is one of his expertise. Yep, <laughs> right, bro? that is one of my forte as a real estate professional. I am um, very specialized in school, helping um, parents who have school-going kids. So through my LEARN, L-E-A-R-N strategy, we will be able to identify properties around the school that will be able to still achieve capital appreciation and at the same time within the one kilometer uh, radius of the school. And just today, or just two days ago, I realized that phase 2B within one kilometer, there's a lot of balloting as well for up to 30 schools. Yeah, so um, as, as, as we progress, I think people generally will be able to understand how important it is to be closer to school to increase your chance. Like, um, I totally agree with the policy with MOE that all schools are equal, okay? But personally, I think it is the environment within the school that makes a difference. So as a parent myself of three kids, um, I think I, as far as possible, I would like to provide them the environment within that school. Yeah, yep, I think well said by saying we all schools are equal but maybe some schools are more equal than others. So as, as a new parent myself of uh, one daughter, saying we have three kids, I have a lot to learn. So in, in probably one of my next, my next YouTube videos, I'll have him on board where we have a chat about, about Primary 1 registration. I hope that will be a useful video for you. So remember to hit the subscribe button. Next, we'll carry on with our door knocking. Yeah. Okay, we have arrived. Pennington again from yesterday. Yeah, these are the blocks we're going to conquer today. Let's head up. Andy, you're welcome. Thank you. I want to ask you, have you heard of this project? Yes. Have you heard of this place? Yes, yes. Do you have any interest in buying a new house? No. No. You can buy a new house. Do you have any interest in buying a new house? Yes. 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 I now just completed level 28. Let me show you some of the views. Again, pretty good views unblocked towards this direction. It's one of the highest blocks in the vicinity. You know what? I, I didn't mention any of the blocks that I've been door knocking. If, if you are an expert and you happen to recognize or you stay nearby and know which blocks these are, leave a comment. Uh -huh. I think I can prepare a special prize for you. So I noticed that compared to the other HDB blocks that I was knocking the other day, uh, there are less privacy for the units here. You see this one? Right opposite, there's another unit. Same for the units at the other corner. So one unit here, and again, one unit here, and right opposite, another unit. So yeah, I think the, the, the units are too close to each other, and as a result, many of the units here have their door closed, as opposed to the other block that I was at, where many units actually had their doors open and were more welcoming to me. Although I have to say that my uh, doorbelling my doorbell pressing has been quite effective here. I think quite a number of them have opened the doors so far. Let's keep going. There are all sorts of ways to reject people. Just now I heard someone shouting from the inside. Sorry, not interested. They didn't even come to the door, open up. Just shouted from the inside. But I guess it's an easy way to say no as well. Uh, I realize why I don't think my flyers because of taking the time to do this vlog. So I hope it's beneficial for you. Whoever you are watching this, whether you're an agent, you're a homeowner, you're a seller, a buyer, or want to know more about me, or want to know how um, agents do prospecting, one of the most traditional ways, I hope this video has added value to you in one way or another, or just for entertainment as well. Hi sir, can I do a quick sharing on uh, a new upcoming property? Sorry, we've been staying for a very long time. Sure, I understand. I understand, I just leave this here. 
Thank you very much. Have a good night. I realized something very interesting. It's very smart of the residents here as well. Check that out on the floor. Look. It's a skateboard and it's used as a door stopper. Because I think when you leave the door ajar like that, the wind flow is much stronger. So you get much more wind in the corridor area compared to another floor that does not have the door stopper. Quite an interesting and smart thing. Yeah. If, if you're living here, you're watching this, maybe you want to put it on your floor as well to uh, get a better wind flow. Yep. Interesting, this unit doesn't even have a doorbell. I think they removed it. Wow. Talk about not wanting people to enter. I wonder, is it so coincidental that the last few units I uh, knocked the door and somebody came to answer, told me that they just bought their unit. Wow, how coincidental is that? Or, wonder is it another one of the best ways to to get an agent to stop bugging you. Because if you just bought a HDB, you are under your five years minimum occupation period where you can't sell or buy another home. I'm mean, at level 17. Level 17, very interestingly uh, as well. Uh, I, I did an update with Singwee. He told me that he finished the entire block and is moving on to another block. Wow, he's almost double my speed. And I asked him why, because he skips all the closed doors. For me, I, I, I will stand outside the closed doors, I will press the doorbell twice. So I waste a couple of minutes at every single home. Let's try and touch as many people as I can. Let me reach out to as many families and households and to as many families and households as I can. Keep going. The funniest thing is when you hear that there are noises inside the home, you press the doorbell and suddenly it goes quiet. <laughs> Always see and learn new things at every single door knocking experience. Oh, 11 now. About 15 more minutes to 9 o'clock. I'm determined to finish my vlog today. Let's keep going. Hey sir, have you heard about Lento Modern? Uh, no, it's okay. It's you know, recently AMO sold 98%. Bro, just take one. Uh. Okay. If you're interested, by Vicky, give me a call. Okay, okay. Have a good night. Yes, I'm at level 2. I think this is the last floor. I'm almost done. Yay! Oh, and guess what? This is one of the nicest things I've ever seen. Look at this. Free drinks for the couriers and cleaners. Wow. Can I get a free drink as well as a real estate agent? Last house. The last house was an interesting one because I clearly see someone coming to the um, keyhole to peep at who's outside but no one opened the door. Okay, I'm done. Finish. Still have a bunch of flies in my hand. I think I actually managed to give out even less than yesterday but that's because most of the doors today were closed. So um, yep, it's about right on 9, right at 9 p.m. here. I think it's still, I would consider it as good night. Thanks, Singwi, for the drinks. You ended earlier. Yep. Just want, just want to understand as your first timer, is it as scary as uh, what people make it out to be? No, no, it, it, it wasn't scary. I mean, I, I reinvent the, my own style. I, I try to, to do something that I'm comfortable with. So eventually, I feel that those doors that's not open, I just not knock on them. I go to those that is open. And uh, yeah, the the owners inside are more receptive and uh, mm -hmm. spend some time to chit chat for, for a while. Well done, bro. Well done. So do you have any, any tips for first timers? Who is starting it's up, it's really up to you. Uh, right. Listen to your leaders or your manager. Uh, yes. For me, I don't listen to people. I just do my <laughs> own way. So I, I choose to only approach those that has door open and I spend time speaking to them. So I clear two blocks uh, running through them. Great, great. Well done, bro. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I guess this concludes uh, my vlog on door knocking and I want to see whether there's going to be any success. I'll post any success here and uh, maybe I'll share with you guys in one of my next videos. Thank you very much. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you've not yet done so. I'll see you in my next video.